Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video we'll be looking at emissive lighting and for you sci-fi guys out there who do those wonderful sci-fi scenes, this video is definitely for you. So let's go take a look. Right, so here we are in Dance Studio. I've been loaded my environment, um, level 19 environment, which is free in Dance Studio, so you can use this if you want to. I've got my figure here as well. If I go to render settings, then go to environment. I've changed my environment mode to scene only because I want to show you exactly what the emissive lights do with the scene only lights. Um, you could obviously use it with dome and scene if you want to. So if you had a HDRI map and you want to use lighting from there, as well as using lighting from emissive lights, you could do that as well. But in this case, we're just going to use scene only. So I'll set that back to scene only. And let's get started with the emissive lights. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my planes camera here. So let's go to planes. Uh, the reason why I've just called that planes is because this is where my planes are going to be automatically put into my scene. So I'm going to go to create up here. I'm going to go to new primitive and I'm going to do a plane. So I'm going to have a Z positive axis. So that just means that the when the plane is uh, created, it will be vertical. And the size will leave at 10, divisions will leave at 100. So accept for that. Click on accept. So there's my plane here. I'm going to make this emissive now. So this will be our light source. So this will be our main light source. So what we're going to do now is click on plane here on my scene. I'm going to click on surfaces, editor, and click on plane here. So what I'm going to do is change the surface, change the shader, the kind of material on the actual plane. Because at the moment, the material is IRA Uber based material or shader in this case. So I want to change it to emissive. A missing shade. I want to make it uh, a light source. So I'm going to go to uh, presets here. I'm going to click on shaders, eye ray, and emissives. Double click on this and you'll see the change. So there you go. There's our light source there. It's changed it into an emissive light source. So if I go back to my main camera here, go click on editor and go to our settings. So our main settings will be emission color here. So you can change the color of the actual light source, the emission temperature. So this is the temperature of the of the light source. Two sided, which I'll come to in a bit. Uh, luminance is how bright you want to make it, and the units is the units of the brightness. So what I'm going to do is change this to 6500, which will make it a, a neutral a neutral light, white light basically. And I'm going to set the luminance to 500 but I want it in thousand, so K. So K just means basically I want to have to type, if I set it to the um, the original setting, I'd have to set it to a really high value like 500,000 to make it bright. And if I just, if I set the units to K, I'll only have to do something like 500. So I've probably saved myself, what, two seconds there. So that's why I use K. So I'm just gonna go to the IRA uh, preview and see what it looks like. And while we're waiting for that, uh, just remember um, that I've got my lighting guide as well in the description, links in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. The lighting guide has all this information with the uh, emissive light and everything. So it goes through how to uh, do the emissive lighting, the, the settings, etc. And make sure you check that uh, in the description box below. Okay, so what's happened here is basically there's no light. It's dark. Let's go back and see why. So go back to my planes camera. Right, so as you can see, my plane is only, the light source is actually going to the left and I want it to go to the right. So what I could do is I could uh, rotate it, um, rotate my plane, but I'm going to do that. The other way we could do that is make it double-sided. So once I make it double-sided, I go back to my camera one. There you go. So that's our light source there. That's our missing light using the uh, primitive, our plane primitive. So there we go, it's very soft lighting, very, very good to use for that as well. Uh, we can also obviously change the color, so we could have, say, a bit of yellow, make it a bit more yellowy. There you go, it's all nice and yellow. So you could obviously change the color and do what you need to do there. So if we go back to the plane camera, what I'm going to do now is just hide that plane. And I'm going to also create a cube primitive. We can do that by clicking on create, new primitive, and we can choose cube. You could also choose cylinder, cone, sphere, or torus. 
I found that the plane and the cube are the best, but you can always try those out. So cube and gonna, the that's the settings are fine. World center Z positive and size five meters. That's fair enough. Click OK. Click on step. Sorry. So there's my cube. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I click on cube in my scene. And I need to make it emissive first, so don't forget surfaces editor, click on my cube, go to the presets. Since we've already chosen emissive before, it remembers the last setting, so all I need to do now is just double click. And there you go, it's made it emissive. So again, I can choose the temperature 6500. I'm going to choose a unit, uh, we'll pick it 100 this time. And so if I go back to my camera one setting, you'll see what it looks like there. So there you go, that's that's what it looks like. Obviously, if I want to make it brighter, I'll turn the luminance up. So let's go back to 500. And there you go, it's a bit more brighter. And we get that lovely soft lighting again, which is great. This one I'll make yellow again. Actually, we'll make it blue, see what it looks like. There we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the blue lighting. So there you go. So you can also use uh, primitives to create uh, emissive lighting in your scenes. So you can use planes, cubes, torus, spheres, you know, you can try those out and see what you think. So I'll leave that on there for now. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, what we can also do now rather, is we can choose um, things in our environment and make them emissive as well. So what we can do is if I go to the top here and choose the surface selection tool, which is this one here, click on that. As I move my mouse around the scene, you'll see specific parts of the surface of the scene, sorry, the environment is being selected automatically. So let's say, for example, if I wanted these here, these glow main door lights, I wanted to make them emissive. Click on that. As you can see, it's automatically selected it, so I don't need to do anything there. I can go to presets and make that emissive. There you go, it's made it emissive. So if we go back to the editor, uh, we can change the color. And if we go to the lumens, make it a bit more brighter. That's probably too bright there. Let's go to, actually, let's go to, yeah, we'll do 500, it's fine. And I want to say, for example, a kind of bluey light, so blue. And what I'm gonna do is just hide the cube so you can see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. So if I go to my so you can see the applications there of having emissive lighting. So if you're doing like sci-fi scenes, this is great for that. So you want to have some sort of cool lighting effect for sci-fi scenes, or if you do some sort of horror scene and you want some sort of ambient kind of lighting in the corner somewhere, you can do really cool stuff like that as well. Uh, if I go back to my perspective view, I just want to show you that in sometimes in, in scenes in the environments, you have things that are duplicated. So in this case, this actual a uh, glow main door kind of uh, lighting uh, surface is actually duplicated somewhere else, which is here. So what happens is because we made the change for one, it would all automatically make the change for the second as well. So if you make, if I made this brighter, for example, so if I click on here, and if I just somewhere that made it thousand, the other one would automatically go a thousand as well. So we, so that's really cool as well. So you want, you're saving time there. You don't have to individually go to every bit of the scene to do that. If there's something that's uh, repeated twice in the scene or three times, four times, five times, it will automatically do the updates to that as well, which is really, really cool. Okay, so what else we can do as well is we can actually make clothing emissive as well and hair and anything else we need to make it emissive, which is really, really cool as well. So if I go back to my main camera, I can make, for example, remember my surface section tool is still selected. I can go to different parts here and make it selected. So what I'm going to do is actually make, I mean, the boots, these boots, these front guards will make them emissive. So we'll click on that, go to presets, emissive, make that emissive. Go back to the editor. I'm going to make this 6,500. Yeah, we'll make it 500 here. Uh, and what we're going to do actually is make it a different color. So I'll click here, I'm going to make it kind of a ready color. So you can see now it's emissive, it's red, and there you can see some sort of red effect coming off there. Actually, if I go closer to the camera, camera one, 
You can see there we got our red lighty coming off there. So you could do really cool stuff like that as well. We could also do the hair if we wanted to. So if I click on the hair, make that emissive as well. Presets, emissive. 6500, you know, you could pick a different number. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll pick, pick 1100. Oh, sorry, 10,000 is high to go, so 10,000. Um, we could make this, you know what? We will make it 1500, 1500, not 15,000. And we'll make the color, oh, I don't know, green. Just show you what it looks like. There you go. It's, we've got green light coming off it and it's, it's lighting up everything. It's kind of having this really cool effect on the actual um, clothing as well and the lighting. So there we go, yeah, there you go. You got the green lighting. You can see the green lighting going here as well, everywhere. So it's emitting, it's bouncing off the walls, going everywhere. So that's what you can really do. You can see from a face now as well. So there you go. So some great ideas there, what you can use with um, Emissive lighting, you can, you know, light up different parts of the clothing if you want to make it. So if you can think about, for example, um, Gears of War, for example, on the equipment Gears of War when they were wearing them, they had like this kind of highlighted emissive kind of lighting coming off their shoulder. So you could do something cool like that as well. Uh, there's lots of cool things to do emissive lighting. Uh, this is just one aspect. For sci-fi, it's great, so like I said, for horror scenes. Um, if you wanted to, for example, light some sort of uh, like a candle light or something like that, you could do something like that as well. So emissive lighting is uh, very underused, but very, very effective when used correctly. Okay, so there you go. A very simple and effective method on how to light your scenes using emissive lighting. Fantastic if you're doing those sci-fi scenes. And in next week's video, I'll be looking at the camera settings and how to frame your scenes like a pro. And while you wait for that video, check out these videos here. Hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit that like button and leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.